Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Car News Headline Briefing. This time, we're going to be examining the path of APTERA Motors. The Carlsbad, California-based solar automobile Aptera is getting closer to taking to the road with a solar-powered electric vehicle that boasts a thousand-mile range after collecting a $33 million financing for the initial phases of solar EV production. Keep checking back for updates on this and the delivery schedule for the latter half of 2024. Now let's get going. Solar EV manufacturer Aptera plans to deliver first customers by the end of 2024 with new funding support. Raising about $34 million, Aptera sells all 2,000 production slots of their launch edition Solar EV. Just over a year has passed since the Solar EV startup. Aptera's accelerator program was first introduced. Its goals were to encourage customers to completely commit to purchasing CVs and to provide some financial runway as the business moves closer to scaling up production. Though it took longer than expected, the program was successful in raising around $34 million. This achievement is just one more feather in the cap of solar electric vehicle, EV, manufacturer Aptera which is the last well-known startup left in the race to reach mass production and provide its incredibly sustainable mobility options. It would be an understatement to say that the voyage has been long and Aptera has a fascinating past that you may review thanks to our years of reliable coverage. We're only going to go back to January 2023 for the sake of time. It's Friday after all, when Aptera revealed a launch edition of its much-anticipated SEV of the same name. Launch Edition is a preset design that is intended to serve as the first vehicle of its sort to hit the road and possibly launch Aptera's SEV production. Applauded for its frequent updates on development and open communication with its fans, Aptera freely acknowledged that manufacture of the Launch Edition vehicles will require a substantial increase in funds. A few days later, co-founders of Aptera Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony announced the launch of an accelerator program asking reservation holders to contribute community financing starting at $10,000. The program prioritizes who receives the first commemorative launch edition, builds based on the amount of money donated. As a result, there was a leaderboard battle for the 2,000 seats that were open, which resulted in a launch edition commemorative build that was numbered. Because of the first slow uptake, Aptor decided to keep the crowdfunding program open indefinitely until all of the available spots were filled. That day has arrived just over a year later with over 2,000 investors bringing Aptera $34 million closer to scaled solar EV production. Since the launch edition SEV's 2,000 production slots have all been taken, Aptera has formally closed the accelerator program to future applicants. Having said that, individuals who are now atop the scoreboard are more than welcome to pledge additional funding to the business in order to move up the ranks and receive an earlier delivery. Before we go any further with this briefing though, would you kindly support this channel by clicking the subscribe button below? By doing so, you will enable YouTube to learn about your preferences and be notified whenever a new video is added to this channel. Now let's move forward. With 2,040 bookings, Aptera successfully finished their customer investor procedure, as you can see from the current ranking. We've questioned Aptera about its commitment to honor the additional 40 customers and the 2,000 initial builds of the launch edition SEVs that it first promised. According to an Aptera representative who spoke with Electrek, some of those pending investments are expected to be removed from the leaderboard in the upcoming weeks. However, any customer who made an accelerator investment by January 31 at 8.20 a.m. PT guaranteed a spot in the program and will be eligible for one of the first SEV reservation slots. Idor Aptor's focus on easy maintenance, repair, and upgradability, along with its energy-efficient design. I would support it more than I have if I were a billionaire or even a millionaire. The crowdfunding campaign was originally intended to provide Aptero with some initial cash flow so that company could buy the production equipment needed to construct its solar EVs. This money would eventually be repaid by a $21.9 million grant that was granted earlier this year. By October 2023, Aptero already possessed more than 60% of the necessary tools and equipment needed to produce its body in carbon, Bensi. 
Among the most costly and time-consuming parts of the production process that need the longest lead periods to commission and deliver were stamping dies and post-processing tools. In December, Aptera, a Tier 1 supplier of battery packs for its solar electric vehicles, signed a multi-million dollar agreement with CTNS, a Korean manufacturer. With its crowdfunding campaigns, Aptera has raised more than $100 million to date. The company plans to start building products in late 2024 and increase output in 2025. However, a firm spokeswoman notes that there is still a financial caveat. The precise timetable depends on funding. Aptera has raised $33 million through the Accelerator program, which will be used to finance the company's first production intent vehicles, which will be used for testing and validation, as well as the purchase of low-volume tooling. The final stage after Aptera's production intent vehicles have been verified is to generate money to buy high-volume production tooling and equipment. Even if the limited edition launch edition solar EVs are all sold out, you can still reserve an unnumbered model or a fully customized Aptera for $100 down payment or $70 if you use this link. The business keeps forming connections with suppliers, honing designs to increase productivity, and acquiring tools and equipment for production. For pre-orders, the firm is presently taking deposits of $100. These down payments are reimbursed in full, we plan to begin delivering on these pre-orders in the second quarter of 2024. Our pre-order cancellation rate is currently less than 5%. We currently have 43,000 pre-orders as of July 14, 2023. We expect to be able to fulfill the pre-orders in 2027. Our projected first deliveries on these pre-orders are scheduled for Q2 of 2024. By 2025, we expect to produce 7,000 cars annually, and by 2026, we expect to produce 20,000 cars annually. The aforementioned numbers are contingent upon our ability to raise a sizable sum of money, close a sizable portion of our pre-orders, have access to the commodities and materials needed to construct the vehicles, have manufacturing facilities available, and have continuous supply chains. Assuming 1,000 will occur in 2024, let's next suppose 7,000 in 2025 and 20,000 in 2026 as planned. Further assumptions. By the end of the following few months, after the non-accredited investors are permitted to re-enter, let's say there will be 2,000 accelerator orders and 45,000 pre-orders. Extra suppositions. Suppose that 30% of typical pre-orders and 80% of accelerator investors end up buying a car in full. Assume that 75% of typical pre-order buyers and 90% of accelerator investors reside in the United States or Canada. Thus, there are 1,440 complete orders for accelerator vehicles in the United States and Canada, and slightly more than 10,000 initial full orders. Out of the 10,000, a portion will be LE and a portion other configurations. Assume that 50% are LE or 5,000. Thus, Q3 2024 will cover a small number of accelerator vehicles, while Q4 2024 will cover the remaining vehicles in January and February of 2025. Those in the USA who placed pre-orders for LE should receive them by the end of 2025. Q4 2025 should see the emergence of the first non-LE variants, with the remaining ones following in 2026. The first pre-order delivery into other countries are likely to occur in 2026, and by then, a number of non-pre-ordered orders should have also been placed, once people start to see them around. The above is pure conjecture, presuming that everything goes according to plan, which is never the case in real life. Although Aptera says it has successfully crowdfunded enough money to begin manufacture of its solar-powered, three-wheeled electric vehicle, the company's future remains uncertain. The Accelerator program, which gave investors who contributed $10,000 or more the opportunity to reserve one of the first 2,000 production slots for the car, came to an end on Friday, business stated. The $33 million raised by the year-long program, which concluded on January 31, was sufficient, according to a news release from Aptera, to fund the initial phases of production. Aptera has experience with crowdsourcing. 
The company stated in the same press release that it had raised over $100 million in the last two years through this non-traditional funding strategy, which eschews traditional investors in favor of smaller individual contributions. The business also asserts that it has advanced significantly. It established a supply arrangement with Italy's CPC Group for carbon fiber bodywork in November 2022. In January 2023, the first launch edition version of the EV was then displayed. The following October, Aptera announced that some manufacturing equipment had been acquired and that the EV was getting closer to going into production. However, Aptera has previously advanced its projected manufacturing deadlines, and it looks like it has done so once more as of late. Aptera has stated for the past year that it intends to begin manufacturing in the summer of 2024. Aptera projected beginning deliveries in Q2 2024 with 7,000 cars annually in 2025 in its July 2023 SEC filing. However, as of the November update, manufacturing was scheduled to begin by the end of 2024. At least compared to Elio Motors, another startup trying to build a three-wheeled vehicle and primarily depending on crowdfunding, Aptera's financials look far more promising. Ilio claimed in a 2017 filing to have raised almost $28 million from persons desiring to reserve an Elio, with a total cash investment of more than $36 million, even though loans had already totaled more than $38 million by that point. Shortly afterward, in 2018, Elio disclosed the existence of a cryptocurrency called Elio Coin and sold $2.5 million of its shares to Overstock.com. Elio's loss grew to $215.8 million by 2020, after a reported total liabilities of just $10.2 million through 2022, but it's likely that they have increased since then. Elio never managed to get its first petrol three-wheeler into production, despite having a $1 billion valuation at one point. Elio changed its name to the Elio E in 2021, an electric vehicle that hasn't yet entered production, but boasts a 150-mile range and a starting price of $14,900. The automaker's formerly funding-focused website now loads as a blank page. With over 46,000 car bookings, Aptura is currently claiming $1.6 billion in potential income. Where Elio failed, will it succeed? The car's San Diego County manufacturer claims that their mission is to reinvent transportation through more creative and environmentally friendly means. In Carlsbad, a solar-powered vehicle called Aptera is under development. CEO Chris Anthony stated, in reality, the wireless nuclear generator in the sky should provide the majority of our power. We're really producing some really interesting cars that can help a lot of people cut their fuel expenses and move towards a lifestyle where they don't need to stop it at petrol stations or charge their cars. According to Anthony, their objective is to rethink travel in a way that is more inventive and sustainable. Our goal is to transform the transport sector into one that is more productive. Therefore, to build your car from the ground up, you want lower weight, more aerodynamic, more efficient powertrains, you know, things that consume less energy per mile and less content, Anthony explained. Lightweight composite materials are used to construct the vehicle. Its aerodynamic shape enables it to move quickly and lightweight. It takes only four seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. When the Aptura was put to the test in a quarter mile drag race almost two years ago, it defeated the Model 3 from Tesla and the R8 GT Spider from Audi. Most people are unaware that forcing air out of the way can consume more than 60% of the fuel in a normal Stettin or SUV while traveling at highway speeds. Thus, we began with aerodynamics, created a lightweight vehicle, and integrated an extremely efficient powertrain to create a vehicle that resembles a fish rather than a box truck," Anthony continued. In certain models, the three-wheeled vehicle may travel up to 1,000 kilometers using solar power. Its batteries are charged by the sun, but you can plug it in and charge it just like any other electric car in inclement weather or when your plans don't work out. Anthony reports that the company has successfully raised over $120 million and secured 16,000 investors through crowdfunding. He expects they will be available for purchase shortly, as over 46,000 orders have been placed thus far. We're starting production now, and by the end of the year, 
we hope to deliver our first production vehicle. Friend, today we're going to show you a solar-powered passenger car that seems futuristic. The first look car of the developer has been revealed. This year, they say, they're coming off the assembly line. Similarly, the manufacturer claims that this is a two-passenger, three-wheeled vehicle with all-wheel drive. In a similar vein, they assert 400 miles of range. In addition, it has a 4 seconds 60 miles per hour top speed, which allows it to surpass 101 miles per hour. That being said, the sun provides the majority of its energy. Nevertheless, a regular 120 volt socket can also supply electricity to the Aptoroid EV. So the typical American motorist would never need to plug in when it's too hot, like in Southern California. The company releases news upon meeting the minimum daily usage requirement of 29 miles. However, in areas with moderate sun exposure like New York or Chicago, drivers might require 0.5 times as much charging time annually. Overnight charges ought to last at least 150 kilometers. And with that, we conclude for the time being. I appreciate you watching. See you in the next video.